Hello everybody, this is Richard Sispinis again, and I wanted to talk, I wanted to upload a video, and I wanted to talk about, um, hairstyles, and feminine hairstyles, and male hairstyles, and, uh, um, like I think, uh, I've been seeing a lot of this style, I don't know how to describe it, but, um, a person at the hair, uh, hair salon told me that, uh, that it's the, the way I describe it is the, um, 2014 Miley Cyrus hair bump, and it's like, you have a, zero fade in the sides zero fade and then you have the top with just the hair and that's the style that a lot of uh, males are straight males are doing but um, a lot of gay males did that back in the 2011 and 9 and 10 and um, the, the thing is though, that what I wanted to talk about was just specifically that I want, I want to talk first about what makes um, on the styles of female styles why it works for females now um, Females, I want to talk about female style. Females have uh, delicate features compared to males. They have very um, delicate, softer facial structures. Smaller noses, smaller mouths, more compact, shorter heads. I mean, that's the ideal woman. Um, uh, and uh, they have a, a perfect, a very good symmetry. So females have softer features. Now, um, in order... Um, for females to create new style and something different because they have feminine softer features they have to um they then they they, they don't have to they then have the ability to to develop strength in other areas because they have softer features they can then uh, um show strength in other areas uh, specifically talking about hair because they have feminine facial structures they then can can um, the, uh, show more strength in other areas they uh, to show a different depth of stylism different depth of stylistic different things so they're able to play around more because their faces are, are smaller and so then they're able to exaggerate and play around with larger hair and grow hair out and grow it out and, and uh, do different styles. Um, uh, females have softer features, so then, in order to create strength, they then uh, strength they use their hair in order to create different styles and to kind of have a style and strength. Because males, uh, uh, I'm going back to males. Males have stronger facial structures, so uh, the, the 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 hairstyles that work on women big long hair poofs and all that won't always work for men because their faces are too strong you know those hairstyles that females develop the long poofy hairstyles work on females because they don't have strength in the face so the focus is then put on the hair which creates a different symmetry of stylism for females that works for them because their features are different so they're able to play around more but for males, when, when, when males try to do styles that females use, it doesn't always work. I mean, it, it doesn't always work because uh, um, they, are, they already have strength in the face. Females develop strength and style in other areas because they have softer features. So because they have softer features, they're able to exaggerate and play around more further and have much more of a larger canvas to, to paint on to explore different styles. But males... This is the thing males don't have that ability because because they already have strength in the face they aren't able to when a male has strength in the face and then they try to add more strength and more exaggeration in the hair it's too much strength because the females able to do those styles because they lack, lack strength in the face so they have more narrow softer features so their strength is up here so it's more like an equilibrium soft face big beautiful hair males strong face strong hair it's just too much going on you know and and uh, a lot of the males are trying to copy the Miley Cyrus bump with the zero fade like I said and the bump on the top but it's just it works in the female why because they can play around they have softer features so they're able to play around with a masculine style why is it masculine because they're using a zero fade all the way around the head they usually males that's what males do to get the hair haircut and then they leave the top so the females are able to do more with the hair, use a masculine fade, zero fade, and then leave a poof on the top because it's 
narrow here, softer, and it's stronger here. So it creates a different symmetry of stylism that works for them. It looks cute. It looks it looks um, um, different, and it, 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 it's subtle, and it works. Females are able to work like like uh, Halle Berry's hairstyle. You know, lately in the in the in the second decade of the new millennium, she's been using a lot of low haircuts, male haircuts work better and they look better on females because they look cute you know be why because they have softer facial structures they're able to use our style and put it on them they able females are able to use male strength styles and put it on them because their 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 appearance is softer so they're able to play around and add strength females when the when the, when, when you're feminine and you're a female you have softer features so there you go you're able to add more to you to create a different look and style you're able to play around more because the female canvas is more smoother and you're able to kind of manipulate and swerve and do different things and add strength because it's like it's like a it's like a flat clean canvas ready to be painted on but for males we already have it's like trying to uh, the, the, ma the male canvas is like already painted on we already have strength so it's like it's like the female canvas is white and the male canvas is black and brown. So when you try to add more black and brown on a canvas, you know it just doesn't make a difference and it just doesn't always work. And that's the thing is that um, you know the males, the, the homosexuals don't understand is that the reason why the the females are able to take masculine hair, low haircuts, short haircuts that men do, is because their feminine features allow them to create an equilibrium of strength and then softness. Strength and then softness because it's like a symmetry that works for them. It works better for them, you know. And um, in this new era, you know, people are just letting go and doing the pompadour and all the other stuff, which is fine. But you have to remember is that the logic of it, the homosexual logic of trying to use a female hairstyle, a hairstyle that's already masculine it works on them it works on them because they're feminine it works on them because they have softer features they're able to add more strength to them because they create they're able to add more strength to their look because their look is already as small it's already one and you add two and three and four you add more strength because you're able to because it's softer and when homosexuals look at uh, their idols they try to grasp those styles but they'll understand is that it works for the female idols because they're feminine, they're softer, and the hairstyles work on them because it looks cute and they have a s proper facial symmetry for that. But when homosexuals do it, they try to like make it work for them. They try to cut the hair and poof it big, and they try to just you know try to make it work. But they don't understand that it's like a, um, it's like uh, it's like uh, uh like it's like a, it's. It's like, of course, it, it, of course it works for you because you're a male. The female took your style because she's feminine and it looks cute on her, but what you're doing is you're just kind of just keep on piling it on. It's like a, it's, it's just like, duh, you know? And it's like, um, that's just the thing is that, is that they don't understand that it works on them because they're feminine and their facial structures are softer. And when a man takes a masculine style from a female and try to make it for them, it's like um, it's like it's like taking a, a, a circle peg from a from a from a from a flat from, from a flat um, like those little to ch child toys where you put the peg in the hole and you put the square and the triangle in the hole and and, you, and then like for an example you take that square and you put it into another thing and and and, and it works for that but then you take it and you keep, you, you put it back you're taking something that's already that you already done and you're trying to re-envision it internally to make it work for you you know but that was a bad example but you know it's just that it, it, it the, the logic of that just doesn't have it doesn't make any sense and uh, and the, uh, that's just um, what, I, what I want to talk about and uh, and the, the homosexual vision of style just uh, they try to grasp to you know they don't know how to embrace their masculine masculine features and just let it let themselves be but then again the masculine traits are not attractive compared to female traits that's my opinion you know and that we men were actually more cuter when we were kids and then we grew up and it's like a monstrous transformation like I always say and um, you know 
like the, the the gay man tries to take a masculine style on that worked on Miley Cyrus or on Halle Berry or on Rihanna and, and then they try to put on themselves and then they try to make it seem as though it's their style when all along it was a masculine style but it worked on them because they were feminine when you put on yourself it's just gonna be a normal haircut and it's gonna be a normal masculine haircut you know and, and a lot of times when fe when homosexuals use these uh, when they do these feminine hairstyles it kinda seems pretentious on, on a gay man when a gay man tries to do a feminine hairstyle themselves with the side zero fade and the puff on the top it seems pretentious and it seems aggressive it seems pretentiously aggressive you know it just seems like like bullyish it just seems like kinda like like kinda weird and kinda like on one of my gay friends uh, back in the day it just didn't seem to work it just seemed pretentious like they're trying to make it work and trying to make it like work you know this little point in the top and zero fade in the side and trying to make it work it just seemed like kind of like a like a like a like a bald man wearing a little uh little toy um halloween um bowler's cap and trying to walk around and make it work you know trying to uh color um a turd and make it pink and pretty you know trying i'm sorry about the examples but that's why it looks it just looks pretentious and it looks obnoxious and it looks um aggressive doesn't work on homosexuals the female styles you know sorry